friends, welcome to our channel. If today is your first time visiting us, we want to extend your warm welcome. If you have been here before but you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. Today we continue the saga of trying to repair my old Jaguar and we are going to do an old differential. If you recall the last episode, we failed to do the differential change because we did not have a, a bar, what do you call that? Breaker bar. A breaker bar and we were unable with a very soft handle we had to actually break the bolt loose. In uh, this specific model Jaguar there is very little space in the back uh, where the plug goes so we could not use any of our power tools. So today we're going to try and, and change the differential fluid and if we're successful test drive the car and see if that uh, does any improvement or if we still need to do something more in order to bring her back to health. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Can you see anything? Yeah. I cannot even put it in. We have clearance, mm -hmm. but you were able to put it in the, in the other one, right? Yeah, except I didn't have clearance with that thing. Well, I have clearance, but it doesn't seem to go in. Well, that's it. You got it right there. But it is not in. Turn it in. Huh? Turn it, maybe you're not lined up with the square. I've turned it any possible way I can imagine. So for a moment, maybe you can come and see. We successfully loosened it. Yeah, is okay. that what I said? Yeah, before I started recording. All right. So which one is left, honey? Here, I don't think I need that. I have a lot of light. It has left and right on there. Does my light help? Left is showing. Okay, so I'm correct, then, right? I guess I made the big one again. How did you successfully? Because I'm good. Okay, give me something that close. I put it in there and I pulled it down. You want to just shine that light up there. Yeah. Where's the little one? You were able to do the little one too, right? Yep, sure was. Okay, that tightens it. Yeah. You want it the other way. You this said left, I may... You said left. Left is Lucy, right? Yep. So yeah, I said left. It was left. Lefty Lucy. Ah. It has to be this. I can see it moving from here. I can see it moving too, but... Can you turn it with your hand? All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. 
This has to be clean. Can you hold it somewhere? Not sure. All right. Uh, where where with the pump? We can, you can stop for a long time. I don't know how I'm going to put it in there. Totally dry. Mm. Nope. It's coming out. Where is coming out? Right there. Oh, fudge stickles. Okay. Can you see the thing coming out? Yeah, you can see the liquid coming. Ooh. It stinks like always transmission fluid stinks. Can you see the liquid here? Yes. Sure can. It's nice and dark. At least can you do it when it's a little harder for me? Yeah. Ooh. It's not a very nice little. Well, it doesn't look horrible, but it stings like cayenne. It's worth taking all of this out. I mean, yes, until we cannot get any more out. See, that's what we'll have to do in your car, but in your car is easier. Thank God. What's causing this burping? I guess we don't have to film all of it, you know. Okay, we'll come back. Okay. So here's the, the plug for the uh, differential, and it is magnetic, so these are all particles that are actually metal. 
I'm going to clean them as best as I can before we fill the differential with fluid and put it back in. Do you want to show how much fluid we got? Where can we empty it to see how much it is? Oh, that's maybe a quart, quart and a half tops. Well, it only takes a quart. Okay, then. Okay, does it look clean? Give it to me, please. And here it is, guys, all clean. Again, that looks much better than I thought. Okay. Alright, let's stop. Alright, folks. This is the differential oil I did choose. Differential oil I did choose. And uh, we are going to start the process of putting it in the transmission. I cannot really see it, so tell me when you think it's coming to the top then. You've got quite a ways. It's barely fell on the bottom yet. If we wait, you think we can find out if it's a quart? Okay, that's it. Do you think it's the quiver of the best I'm not going to guess how we can do a conversion. Because this is in liters, the whole thing is one and a half liters, and it's right about one now. So one liter is how many quarts? One liter equals 1.06 quarts. So this is a little under a quart, right? I think so. Okay. In order not to mix the old and the new fluid, we're going to use a brand new pump. If they are identical pumps, the only thing we have to be careful now is we have to reverse it. The in will go into the bottle and the out will go into the differential. Okay. All right. All right. So we have inserted the, the inside of the pump to our bottle and the out in the differential. Okay. And we're going to stop when we see differential fluid leaking through the hole. There is no other way, there is no dipstick in the differential. There is no other way to do this. We do have a pan, which is just a paint pan, down here. The color is like totally different. Mm -hmm. It's like a yellow. This is the out. You said that's the out, right? Right. We're taking fluid from the bottle and putting it in the differential. Alright folks, this will take a little time, so we'll be right back with you. Hear gurgling sounds? Yeah. So, you think all of the other pump is bad?
we changed pumps because the other pump didn't seem to work. You didn't run out, did you? I'm putting more in? Yeah. I don't want to overfill it, but I don't want to underfill it either. So how are you going to know when I need to stop? It will start dripping out of here. Did you look inside where the height of the liquid was before you started? Yes. Okay. Don't put too much. I mean, where was the height of the liquid? Right here. Alright, put your finger a little down. Don't put more than below where your finger is. Just I won't be able to see it. I know. I mean, if I, uh, estimate. Just estimate, Judy. Then I have to take it out and look because I can't see with the tube in there. It's right about there. Already? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll take this out. Now we are going to attempt You want oh you don't have the lights on? I could see it just fine. You took the light that I was using. Which was this? Yeah, that one. Okay. Sorry, sweetie. I think head tight would be enough. Should be. Okay. All right, folks, and that is it. I'm just trying to give a good view. There's the left or the right rear tire. There's the axle and it comes on over and then again to zoom into that bolt. Can you put your finger on the bolt again? Yeah. yeah so that is the bolt. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. And as you can see, it has started just dripping. I'm going to clear the drip. So when we check, we're going to make sure that this is nice and tight. Does it look clear? I cannot really see what I'm cleaning. Can you see? Yeah, I'm able to tell. Yeah, it looks alright. Okay. Good. Yeah. And the next part is a test drive. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright folks, we have removed the jack stand. And now we're going to drop the car. When you drop a car, try to drop it slowly to avoid unnecessary stress on the car even though it's slowly it still activated the motion Alright folks, the car is on the ground and we're going to take it on a on a short test drive. And the, the key to this repair was this bar. We had the correct tool, 
but really this small of a handle did not provide enough leverage for us to to move that bolt I don't know how to call that thing, it's not really a bolt a plug yeah, drain plug um, or this really did a very good job and we were able to with fair ease to remove it and now we have replaced it with new differential fluid again we use uh, the Lucas ADW90 gear oil which is a transmission and differential loop this is not sponsored our, our episode is not sponsored by Lucas but I do tend to like Lucas projects products so we get, do need to take the car for a test drive alright why are you pointing? I'm just pointing to the dash right now while we're filming to hear the sound It's a light clicking sound. Yeah, that's new. I didn't hear that before. We hear a clicking sound? Yes. From front or rear? the tires but uh, before it was quite a loud crunch Can you tell where the sound is coming from? It's coming from up under the hood, up under the car. But the clicking sound or the... there are two sounds. There was a, a squeaky belt. That doesn't sound like a belt. It sounds like the whole car is falling apart. That's right up here. fix it. Nope. But we have a fruit, a differential clean. Okie dokie. 
All right, friends, unfortunately, as you heard, we did not fix the problem. So now we have to move to the front of the car. We, our differential fluid definitely need changing. It was very black, as you saw, and the color of the new is almost yellow. What would you call it? Yellow, right? Yeah. So stay tuned in the Jaguar Saga and see if we will be able to fix this car on our own or we're going to need to take it in for service. On the next episode of the Jaguar Saga, we're going to try and change the transmission fluid and see if that will take away the issue. And I will also check the front uh, passenger side components because my wife, as we were driving, told me that's where the sounds were coming from. So stick around and you're going to see the next steps of troubleshooting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, please smash that like button. The other button works as well. Share, like, and subscribe to support the efforts of our channel. And stick around to see if we're going to fix and how long it will take us to fix the, the Jaguar. So far, the only expenses we've uh, incurred was buying a breaker bar, which I don't really consider it an expenses for this project as we're going to use it again. And also uh, two quarts of uh, transaxle fluid. Until next time, from the Grasswood Worker and... Have a great time.